And here's the old motor that I got. It's got a stainless steel shaft on it. It doesn't turn, it's locked up as hell. It's in rough looking shape. I think the only thing that really is going to matter too much here with me is uh, the arrangement for the centrifugal clutch on the back. I'm just looking at it, it looks a little bit different than the old water ace right here. As far as what you can see going on way inside the back here. So, let's take it apart and just see what we got here. Like I said, I Scott uh, User Putts 1976, I think is his name, had mentioned about getting a shaft seal and a uh, farm duty type pump motor with a stainless shaft on it. But I think I'm going to, uh, all kinds of stuff in here. There's the seal right there. The directions in here. Yeah. Uh huh. There's the teardown again. I didn't even have to go online. Kind of forgot that was in here. Well, what I'm going to do is just to take the old water ace apart and see what we find out here. Alright, I got the four housing bolts off. It should just be a matter of just whacking this. Of course, it's not too easy to do one handed. Did you get the idea? do it. And, yep, the water's pouring out of it. Well, that's that. Quite a bit of shit in here, actually. Kind of like a water heater at your house. This is the diffuser. Take that part off next so we can get the impeller off. If you notice, these fasteners here are stainless steel. Let's just hope that the, the, the uh, shaft is stainless steel. That's what been the problem here in the past. When you get all this apart, you find that you can't do nothing with it anyway. I'm going to get that guy off. Alright, there's a little cover here that protects the bearing. I've already been in here before, but I'll show you what I mean here. This just holds the shaft turning. Basically took a screwdriver here, mounted it inside the vise, and was able to grab a hold of the uh, tang on the back of the shaft of the rotor here. And it didn't want to come off real easy. I actually had to use a channel locks right in here to get this to come loose. I was really concerned about it, but I just put a real small mark right here, which will be just fine. I can't see it being a problem. Looks like this one might have a stainless steel shaft. Time will tell. It was a real pain in the ass, but it finally came apart. I think I may have destroyed the seal in the process, but hey, I got another one. Of course, at first glance, you look at this thing. The top part here looks fine, but this is what I'm talking about. This whole shaft is eaten to pieces right here. You can't do anything with it. I mean, it just wore way, way, way down. So what I was getting at here... Is the old fuel pump. You can measure these shafts and whatnot, but it kind of looks like the pool pump's got a larger diameter shaft, which kind of sucks for me. 